Hey guys, Jeremy Henderson here. I am a husband to Kate, dad to Caleb, five years old, and Lydia, almost two years old as of the recording of this video. I'm also a pastor at a local church, and I work full-time from my house. And I'm here today to talk about Empower Network. Um, it's something that has gained a lot of traction here in the home-based business industry. And I wanted to give you my thoughts, uh, not just as a business of what is Empower Network all about, but I wanted to give you my thoughts from a Christian's perspective, somebody who follows Christ, who has trust in Christ as Savior and Lord of their life, and I have. And I wanted to give you my uh, opinion about what I thought about the business model of Empower Network. Now, there are a lot of um, Christians that have spoken out against Empower Network for a few reasons. One of the main reasons that I often hear is what you see number one up here is the language issue. Now, it is, uh, it is no secret that Dave and Dave um, often use colorful language in their marketing, in their training, and that's just part of who they are, it's part of their vocabulary. Now, for me personally, um, I don't have an issue with them using that language. Now, you may say, well, what's that all about, Jeremy? What's your reason there? Well, for one, I um, it's not part of my language. It's not something that I use on a regular basis. Uh, number two, they don't take the Lord's name in vain, and so it's not like they're breaking one of the commandments in Scripture. And number three, I think language is, is neutral. I think language is what you apply to it, the meaning that you apply to it. Now, if you're a Christian and you believe it is completely sinful for you to use foul words, and if you hear them that causes you to stumble, then I encourage you to steer clear of Empower Network because you will hear language from time to time. Now, that being said, the Dave and Daves use less colorful language um, than they did when they started the company. I don't know why that is. Um, I don't know if they've made an effort to do that or if they've just grown in their ability to reach out to more people, but I hear it less and less um, from their mouths. But there are a lot of Christians that have an issue with foul language. They equate that with um, being against God. Now, I can see when you take the Lord's name in vain that that would be something that definitely is against God. But outside of that, um, I don't really have an issue with it. I hear it all the time. It's not something I choose to use. It's just not part of my vocabulary. But I also don't have an issue with it from other people using it. Okay? So the second thing is uh, I hear from a lot of believers, there's so much focus on money. Well, for me, um, I have to say, my first question to those Christians is, is it God's will that you have a home-based business? Um, I would say the majority of believers and need to steer clear of the home-based business industry. And I know, I know what you're saying. Well, Jeremy, why would you say that? Aren't you trying to build a home-based business? Absolutely. I believe that it's part of what God's called me to do is to serve the home-based business industry and to help others build extra income. I prefer to do it online myself, but I do not, I do not think it's a fit for a lot of Christians. And the reason being is because there are a lot of believers who struggle with an idol of money or accumulating wealth or seeing that they need to find their hope or their security in making more money instead of trusting God for that. And so I think if, if a lot of people, a lot of Christians in the home-based business industry really sought the Lord's will about if it's good for them to be in this industry at all, they would probably find out that it's not because they are trying to place their hope in making extra income to purchase things and buy a lifestyle for themselves instead of finding their hope in the Lord. Now, I'm not one of those people that would say that money does not buy happiness. Um, I think you're fooling yourself. I think uh, people who have lots of money can be happy. Now, I do not think that money can ultimately provide fulfillment for your soul. I think that's something, that's a vacuum-sized hole that only God can fill. But that has nothing to do with if you make money or not. Uh, money is, is, is just a resource, and it can uh, display the, what your heart says. Um, it can display where your heart is. And so a lot of people, if their focus is completely on money and their hope is making more money, uh, at the end of the day, they, they will not be fulfilled. Um, I totally believe that, but I also think that some people are called to make extra income to provide for their families in the home-based business industry, and 
is absolutely God's will for their life. That's something you have to decide on as a follower of Christ. Is this something that God has for me, or is this something that is probably a bad idea for me because of my um, desire to allow money to, to please me instead of God? So that's the second thing is there's a lot of focus on money, but this is a business. And the idea of a business is to provide income for yourself and your family. And so I hear that a lot. Number three, no shoes. And I kind of put that up as a joke, but there are a lot of uh, proper uh, died in the wool, been to church every week for my whole life Christians that can't believe somebody would be on video in a tank top with no shoes on. Now, Dave Wood basically is himself all the time. It doesn't matter if he is on stage, speaking, teaching thousands of people. It doesn't matter if he's sitting at his home, hanging out with his uh, friends. He's the same guy every place. And I personally do not believe the way somebody dresses outside of if it causes somebody to stumble is a problem. And he doesn't dress in a provocative way that would cause other people to struggle with sexual sin. Um, so I have no issue with the way he dresses, but some people do. That trips them up. My whole thing on these arguments and a lot of the other arguments that Christians put up against in Power Network is I just encourage you to search your heart and say, is it God's will for you to even be in the home-based business industry? If it is, then are you looking for the best way to do that? That brings me to my next point. I put up four things that I believe are important as we think about Empower Network from a should a Christian be involved in this business. Um, for one, and one of the reasons I decided to be a part of Empower Network is because I believe God's called me to be a good steward. Now, for me, stewardship of my time, stewardship of what I think about, stewardship of my ministry, stewardship of my giftedness. And so I was looking for a business where I could be a good steward of the things that God has already given me. Um, God has given me the ability to communicate. And so I wanted a business where I could be myself, communicate the way I wanted to, and just tell others um, about who I am and, and what I'm interested in. I also wanted a business where I could make good income for a, a smaller amount of effort. I have uh, been in various business opportunities over the years since I got involved in the home-based business industry and I've sponsored hundreds of people. In fact, in one opportunity I've literally sponsored over 180 people and that never produced uh, an income anywhere over a thousand a month in that opportunity. And that's really a shame. That same hundred people in a power network would have paid a lot more money. Now, there's no guarantee that you'll make money in a power network, and if you are on the website, you can check out the income disclaimer because they, they're very honest about what people make in the Empower Network. But all that being said, if I'm if I believe it's God's will for me to be in the home-based business industry, then I need to look for an opportunity that allows me to be a good steward of who I am as well as a good steward of my time. And so if I'm going to spend my time building an income, I want to get the maximum result for that. And Empower Network provides that. They provide that with 100% commissions. 100% commissions, that's what I said. So a person could literally have a life-changing income with just 10 to 15 people in their group. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's very true. You need to check out the, uh, check out the compensation plan and, and you can see more about that not getting into all that here. Number two, personal development. <clears throat> One of the reasons that most people fail to build a home-based business is because they do not have the mindset necessary to be a successful entrepreneur. If you really want to make, make it in this industry, you have to have the right mindset. And so that means you need to be learning and growing in your mind from the people who have successfully done what you desire to do. And so, um, Power Network has the best training I have ever seen, bar none. And I've spent thousands of dollars on training in this industry. I've listened to lots of guys and taken lots of courses. And I've taken some good stuff, but I've taken nothing that even compares to the value that's in Empower Network's products. And so just the personal development from Empower Network is a very positive thing. And it 
get your mind in the right place so that you can build the business that God called you to build. Number three is serving others. Uh, one of the reasons there is a 100% commission is because Dave and Dave honestly wanted to see people succeed. They were willing as company owners to pay out 100% commissions and then become distributors themselves of their own products and they're just like us. They're distributors just like us and they make money on the products they sell but they pay us 100% on, the, on their products that they created as if they were our own products and that is just awesome. It makes the ability to have a life-changing income with a very small amount of people in your group. Finally, is number four, you get to be true to yourself. Um, this is very important to me. I have been in other home-based businesses, um, nutrition businesses, uh, businesses that focus on uh, nutraceuticals or health and wellness or fat loss or this or that. And honestly, even though I, I, I'm all about having good health, I never could get passionate about any of those things. And the reason I couldn't is because they had a certain way they wanted you to market their business. And you had to fit it into a certain way and say a certain script, invite people to the website a certain way, and then follow up with them a certain way with three-way calls. And honestly, it goes back to the stewardship thing, I desired to build an online income. And I desired to build a business that matched up with my values. Um, I have a high value of family. I want to spend time with my kids. I want to see my wife. I want to date my wife. I want to romance my wife. I want to do things with my family that if I'm spending all my extra time on the phone doing three-way calls or pounding the phones, uh, doing cold calls, trying to get people to join my business, that does not allow me to do. Power Network is set up in such a way that literally I can be who I am be with the people I love and care about, and also build an extra income online. The other thing that's awesome is that in the training, even the, even the basic training that they provide, they tell you that you need to be yourself. Uh, you need to grow as a person, and as you grow, begin to put that message out. Begin to share that with other people about who you are. Tell stories about your own self and your own life. Um, when you begin to do that, you begin to attract the kind of people that want to do business with you. And so that's part of my goal today is that for those of you that have seen Empower Network and you haven't decided to join yet or you've wondered, is this a good fit for somebody who's a Christian, I encourage you to, to really pray about it and say, God, is this something that you would desire for me? First of all, should I even be in the home-based business industry? Is this something that's a good fit for me? And then secondly, if it is, is the business I'm currently in something that's allowing me to be a good steward of what you called me to do. And so for me, Empower Network was the best fit. It allows me to be who I am. It allows me to continue to spend time with my family, but it also allows me with a small group to make a life-changing income. I would love to help you do the same. If that's something that you're interested in, and if you've already looked at Empower Network, I encourage you to click on the link below, clear your cookies and your internet history, um, and click on the link, put in your email address, and get signed up with me today. I'd love to help you. Uh, we'll have a coaching session where we get you started, get you going in the right uh, direction, a, a simple eight-step plan that you can put into action on a daily basis that will help you make extra income, all while getting to be yourself and being a good steward of what God's called you to. This is Jeremy. I'm a home-based business mentor, and I look forward to helping you in the future. Have a great day.